Hello guys, what is going on? It is Savage here and today I am doing something completely different on the channel. So the other day I used a bit of creativity and said hey, why not bring Calvin Johnson back into Madden and you guys loved it and you guys told me other players to bring back so yes, we will be continuing that series tomorrow bringing back Marshawn Lynch but then I thought I want to also do other fun stuff in Madden other than just playing competitively and just doing gameplay over and over again. So I figured, what's something that I could do as a what if? One of the most common things talked about, especially on Twitter, between a lot of my friends that I've made on Twitter and just in general through sports is, could a college team beat a professional team? And more or less, could the Alabama Crimson Tide beat the Cleveland Browns? Alabama being the best college team and the Cleveland Browns being the worst professional NFL football team. So I gave it to some thought and I myself said, there was no way a college team could ever beat a, a professional team ever it doesn't matter what sport it is the college team is automatically less superior than the professional team and I want to see before I show you exactly what we're doing today but judging by the title I'm sure you guys have guessed it I want you to comment down below could the Cleveland could the Alabama Crimson Tide ever beat the Cleveland Browns let's comment down below either Cleveland or the Crimson Tide but let's get into the explanation as you can see right here we have Jalen Hurts. Well said. How'd you get him? I actually made the entire Crimson Tide football team and they are going to be facing the Cleveland Browns. Now guys, I'm not trying to act like woe is me. I know I decided to do this, but this took three hours to make all of the Crimson Tide best players, their starters at each position. So I really would appreciate if you could give this video a like and of course share it with your friends. I got the idea from Bleacher Report. They posted a video the other day, uh, just like a one minute clip on Twitter of NCAA from a long time ago. And I figured, Psh, we got to do a Madden 17 one. We got to bring it. We got to make everything with all like the newer game and stuff and the new mechanics. So I figured let's make the Alabama Crimson Tide and let's just overview, of course, some of their key players. There is all the stats. That is everything we needed to see. I'm about to go start the simulation up. Cleveland Browns hosting the Alabama Crimson Tide. Once again, if you are still watching, if you didn't skip to the beginning of the gameplay, comment if you didn't already who you think is going to win. I got my money on the Browns. Here we are, ladies and gents. The Cleveland Browns hosting the Alabama Crimson Tide. They are kicking off. Let's see. And they elect to take it out of the end zone. A look at that return. I guess they didn't realize, hey, the touchback is to the 25 in the NFL. Here it is, the debut of the Crimson Tide in the NFL against the Cleveland Browns. Howard's in motion. Do oh my god, Damian Harris. First play of the game, spin move, breaking ankles. Damian Harris, 50, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 50, 10, 5. Oh my goodness. Damien Harris, the first play of the game, 77-yard touchdown by the Alabama Crimson Tide. Bro, uh, if I made a bet, if I actually bet on this, I'd be shaking right now because I really never ever in a million years thought the, the Crimson Tide would even score a touchdown against a pro team. Well, the Crimson Tide just proved their worth in one play now the browns did get rg3 back he has cleared the play they have crowell in the black backfield right now tp at the top of the screen and they're going right to isaiah crowell who's trying to match damian harris right here down the sideline isaiah crowell oh my god 27 yard rush the browns are saying yo 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 
You guys got to give us a second. We forgot it was Sunday. We forgot we were playing football. Once again, every receiver out wide for the Cleveland Browns. The Crimson Tide, third and six right here. I don't know how good the kicker of the Browns is, but it is unneeded to even think about a field goal as TP picks up the first down. That was a great play. Great read by RG3. Noticing that there was a hole in the coverage. First down Browns. And their second third down on this drive. RG3 once again. Every receiver is split out wide. Let's see the Crimson Tide sending a blitz. Fumble. Fumble. The Crimson Tide picked up the ball. Oh my god. It's a fumble six for number six. Jesus Christmas tree. I, I cannot. Oh my goodness. Let's watch the replay right here. That was a cornerback blitz, scoop and score for number six. And the Crimson Tide are about to go up 14 zip just like that. If the Browns happen to not score any points on this drive, I might have to say that the Crimson Tide is going to take this indefinitely. Because the Browns only asset it seems right now is the man wearing number 34, Isaiah Crowell with another huge run, 20 yards up the gut. On the Crimson Tide's 46, as you can see, the Browns are fi finally getting their offense together, finally doing what they... This is crazy. Single back formation. R um, I almost just said RG3. As you got, I didn't mean to say RG3, but another run to Damian Harris. Dude, that's all they're doing. It hurts doesn't even really need to throw the ball as Damian Harris just reached 100 rushing yards on the day. It truly is unbelievable that right now the Crimson Tide is a at third and 12 when it seems like they were playing flawless the whole entire beginning of the game as right there, Jalen Hurts. Getting hurt by Cooper. Two minute warning. Fourth and 15. The Browns just got a key stop. They get a touchdown. They also get the ball at half. They could be right back in it. RG3 coming out with five wide. You got to watch where Terrell Pryor is. That's what you got to think about. You really got to think about Terrell Pryor. But how about number 80 for the Browns right there? Catching it across the middle. RG3 now using that hurry up. See if he can throw these young kids off. That hurry up offense might be the key right there. And look at this. Another pass. Incomplete. Intended for Lewis yet again. But he threw it behind the route. Classical RG3. I need the Browns to win this game. Because... I was gassing up the Browns. RG3 in the shotgun. Crowell in the backfield. Three receivers on the left. One on the right. It looks like a verticals. It looks like a verticals. And he is fine finding Terrell Pryor for the touchdown. There it is. The Cleveland Browns needed that. But the Crimson Tide, be aware, had three timeouts and over one minute on that clock. Could they drive down the field before the end of the half and potentially at least get a field goal to once again go up by two possessions? The Browns on offense started the second half right here. Crowell's in the backfield, and guess what? That is whose number they're calling. Joe Thomas with a great block right there. Spin move by Crowell. Dude, if he had the acceleration, he could have took off right there. Seven rushes for 76 yards, but what a great way for the Cleveland Browns to start the second half. RG3 coming out in five wide right here. You really got to give props to Isaiah Crowell this game. Isaiah Crowell is really doing the most. He's trying to open up that pass game for RG3 as RG3 delivers a dot. Terrell Pryor, five touchdown. Oh my goodness. Would be dope. Play action right here. He has all the time in the world delivering a dot across the middle. Oh my goodness, I believe that is Garrick Dieter right there. That is their slot receiver. Picking up, yes, it is a catch for 28 yards. That is a great drive starter right there. Once again, in I formation right here. This is intense. It is a run. Up the gut. That is Bo Scalaro, or however you ever, Scalabro, however you pronounce his last name. But Bo is in the end zone for the Crimson Tide, putting them up. 20 to 14 following the PAT could go up by seven points. Dude, the Browns need to dig deep right here. Three has to put the team on his back right here. No stupid mistakes. The Crimson tied up by seven. RG3 in the fourth quarter. I don't know how clutch he can be, but Terrell Pryor. Oh my goodness. The defense of the Browns needs to be amped up as their offense just went out and literally scored in one play. Now that might mean they're a little bit tired because they didn't get too much of a break, but what a pass breakup. 
Who is that number 21? That is Taylor on the Cleveland Browns breaking up a sideline catch. That is their number one receiver right there on the Crimson Tide. I honestly thought Stewart was going to come down with it. But Jamar Taylor making a big play. Play is where you separate the pros and the students. Third and six. The Browns should be having a stout defense right now. Third and six. That is a good position for their defense. They are sending a little blitz right there. And Jalen Hurts overthrowing the intended receiver joe hayden was in the area ridley was the intended target this is insane rg3 feeling himself consistently hurrying up that offense now i don't know how good their kicker is i believe it's travis coons no no it's it's cody parkey cody parkey is their kicker he's got a decent leg as isaiah crowell with the possession catch right there picking up about three yards getting out of bounds to stop that clock the cleveland browns are one yard away one yard away from a fresh set of downs to be able to run this clock down and get in the field goal range for the game winner. And Isaiah Crowell falling forward to pick up three yards. It is there in a position to win this game. And like I said, Savage going to be right. Is where it matters most. Third and two in the fourth quarter. It looks like it's an up the go run and a block shed number 54. Oh my goodness, dude. They are going to actually get a chance after this field goal attempt. Look at Hugh Jack. He's like, bruh, this is it, right? Well, this isn't it, actually. They could get a couple yards, get out of bounds, and then go for it on fourth down, of course. It is fourth down territory. There he is, Damian Harris out of the backfield. Oh, my God. Look, it's Garrick Dieter. Garrick Dieter, is he out of bounds? The clock has stopped. The clock has stopped. On a third and ten, the Browns give up the underneath route, which then gets picked up for yak 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 look at that garrick dieter he felt the pressure had to deliver that one found the hole in the defense that was actually jamar taylor who made an even better play earlier in this quarter but now he's getting burnt when it really matters most second and eight for the crimson tide right here this is crazy jalen hurts play action right there little dot across the middle that is putting them into field goal range are we about to see an overtime game are we about seven six five on the clock four three two wow two seconds and the crimson tide actually spiked the freaking ball jalen hurts and the crimson tide in overtime this is unreal as Damian Harris gets the first touch of overtime. Damian Harris down the sideline, the 40, the 30. Oh my god, down to the 33 yard line. They are 33 first, and he's hype right now. The Crimson Tide is showing life. The Crimson Tide in overtime. The Crimson Tide might shut up all the haters and say it doesn't matter we're in college. We can take on the Browns. But now they're run heavy. Damian Harris, they're stacking the box on the defense. Damian Harris to the outside. Damian Harris to the 20. Damian Harris to the 15. Damian Harris to the 10. Down to the 10 yard line. Crimson Tide. This is incredible. Second and goal. Four yards from the win. They have two receivers on the left. They do have a tight end on the right side of the line of scrimmage right here. And a fullback. Damian Harris. It looks like he's getting... No, that's Bo. That is Bo again right there. Bo Scarabro down to the one-yard line. One yard away. A QB sneak away with Jalen Hurts to end this game. This is where a lot of people could be proved wrong. Stack in the box. Jalen Hurts under center. Jalen Hurts under center. Jalen Hurts looking around. Fullback down. Fullback dive, that's it! The Crimson Tide beats the Cleveland Browns in an overtime thriller. The Browns can't believe it. They get humiliated at home by a college team. Jalen Hurts went off. Damian Harris went off their defense. Got him an early touchdown to make him go up 14-0. Browns fall back. What a great game. If you guys did enjoy this scenario, please do give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it with your friends. It did take me quite a bit to do this. Comment if you did enjoy. Comment other scenarios that you might want to see me put together. They do take a lot of time to put together. So like I said, any positive feedback is appreciated. Always subscribe if you're new. Have a wonderful rest of your night. And bye-bye.